Breaking news, Tropical Storm Faye has made landfall near Atlantic City, New Jersey. That's according to the National Hurricane Center. The storm brought rain and wind to parts of the Outer Banks before heading up the East Coast. This is video of the storm kicking up surf at a New Jersey beach earlier today. Definitely not a beach day for those people. Nope. Some parts of New Jersey, more than four inches of rain, too, and hard to believe it was just on our doorstep 24 hours ago. Our big story today has to be the heat. It was 95 degrees in the triangle. That is now the hottest day of the year so far, eclipsing where we were around the 4th of July at 94. And technically, it's going to be cooler tomorrow with a forecast high of 92. That's not cool, though. And we could exceed that 95 degrees next week. I'll show you the 10-day in just a second. One of the reasons why it's so hot outside is because we didn't have any rain showers to cool us off. We had one trying to get going here in the north end of Jordan Lake out in Chatham County. That kind of fizzled out, so it's just not there right now. As we widen out, though, here's what I want you to watch as we head into later tonight. A couple of showers and storms back to the west. Some of these will make it to our area. I'm talking after 9 and 10 o'clock. There's even one that's trying to get going here just uh, southwest of Moore County. So it's not going to be 100% dry all night long. But for most of us, it'll be dry for the next several hours and hot too. It's still in the mid to low 90s. I think we were just uh, complimenting our uh, state on how nice it was a few weeks ago when we had highs in the 60s. Remember that? Long gone now. Our heat index values are still in the upper 90s, close to 100 degrees. So take it easy, especially if you're going to get out tonight in the next couple of hours. Give it another few hours for that sun to go down so things start to cool down a bit. And of course, then we have a couple showers and thunderstorms that are going to move through late tonight into the overnight hours. But by early tomorrow morning, we should dry out with, again, temperatures starting in the low 70s. So kind of a busy weather map. But at the end of the day, there's not a whole lot going on this weekend other than hot temperatures. Of course, Faye, I'll get more detailed on that in just a second. On the coast of New Jersey tonight, there is a cold front headed our way, but it's not going to do anything to cool us down. Might instigate a couple of showers and storms. For the most part, hot high pressure will dominate the forecast this weekend. So the storms I showed you in the western part of the state, here we are tonight at 10 o'clock, so some of them do make it in here. So you're dry for the next few hours, but keep an eye out for a few thunderstorms later tonight. By the early morning hours of Saturday, here we are at 3 a.m., those storms are gone, and then we're dry for most of the day tomorrow. Here we are Saturday at 7 a.m., a few clouds, but lots of sunshine, temperatures back into the mid and low 90s. Watch what happens as we get into the afternoon. Some showers and thunderstorms develop along the coast, some of them sliding into the I-95 corridor. So if you're west of I-95, low rain chance. If you're east of I-95, a little better chance of late day showers and storms. Definitely not a washout this weekend, not a washout tomorrow, not a washout Sunday. Sunday a little drier. Here we are at 7 a.m., plenty of sunshine with just a couple of isolated showers popping up on Sunday afternoon. So again, not so much worried about rain this weekend, but I'm worried about the heat. It's a totally different story up the coast. Our friends in New Jersey, it's been a soggy, windy day for them. I mentioned more than four inches of rain. Tropical Storm Fay pretty much headed straight north all day and crashed into the New Jersey shore just a few minutes ago, making landfall just north of Atlantic City. But you can see all the rain kind of looks a little more like a tropical storm, unlike what it looked like 24 hours ago. It strengthened at one point today and now has started to weaken. Winds are 50 miles per hour and it's moving north at 14. It'll continue to move north overnight and actually the eye could pass over New York City overnight. It'll continue to weaken as it moves inland up toward Canada as we head throughout the weekend. But again, no concerns for us. That is storm number six that is getting checked off the list up in New Jersey and the Northeast tonight. So for us, no tropical concerns, but small rain chances and high temperatures. 92 tomorrow, 94 Sunday. We'll keep it around 93 Monday and Tuesday. Monday, a 30% chance of rain. That's really the best chance the rest of the week because look at the entire 10-day forecast. Generally dry next week and watch out Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Highs just as hot, if not hotter, than what we had today. Be careful out there.